So now we even have some mainstream news sources that are coming out with these doom and gloom articles. This is from the Washington Post. How is Fukushima's cleanup going five years after its meltdown? Not so well. So the Washington Post is even, they're not even being so optimistic right now. A journalist wearing protective gear looks at number three reactor building at Tokyo Electric Power Company. Tsunami crippled, earthquake rattled, Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant meltdowns. This is in Futoba, Japan. Seen from the road, the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station looks much as it may have right after the catastrophic earthquake and tsunami that caused a triple meltdown here almost five years ago. The number three reactor building, which exploded in a fireball during the disaster, remains a tangle of broken concrete and twisted metal. A smashed crane sits exactly where it was on March 11 of 2011 to the side of the reactor units. A building that was once housed boilers stands open to the shore. Its rusted warp tanks exposed. The scene is a testament to the chaos that was unleashed when the tsunami engulfed these buildings and the earthquake shook the buildings and perhaps even caused a leak on spent fuel pool number four. Triggering the world's worst nuclear disaster. The utility TEPCO that runs the Fukushima plant drew fierce criticism for its handling of the disaster. And TEPCO is saying the situation has improved greatly. Now I've been following the radiation levels. Just within the few months I was checking it was around 78,000. And now if you look at the NETC reading on Fukushima Daiichi. It's 20,000, which is a significant drop. And we need to start asking questions. Why did the radiation level all of a sudden drop from 78,000 to 20,000? Now, there could be a few possibilities why the radiation level dropped about 58,000. I think maybe it's possible that the cores are moving further off site from Fukushima. Now nobody really knows because they don't know where the cores are still. We're five years in and we don't know exactly where the coriums are, what they're doing. Some people are just supposing they're just going to go out to sea. They're going to go out to the ocean or move in a general direction. We really don't know. And there should be physicists and geologists working together. I would be building holes, huge holes through each building unit. Chernobyl they found the elephant's foot now the elephant's foot was much smaller than what you're gonna find in Japan Tepco's is more gonna be like Godzilla's tail those three coriums where are they heading now there is also a report that Tokyo's water sources has become even more contaminated so is it possible one of these cores could have got picked up in an underground river and made a southerly descent who knows maybe these cores are going in different directions maybe they're repelling each other some people think they're going to attract each other but i think just the weight of the cores how heavy they are you just can't assume that they're gonna go out with the ocean flow it's very it's very possible they could keep going deeper and deeper five years where are the cores we need to get them out if that should be the number one thing is Finding out where these cores are, if you gotta dig, you dig to get them, dig them out. This should have been priority a month out, they should have begun this huge digging expedition. Not just build a bunch of tanks and just store the water and let the ocean die. It's still not too late. Dig them out. Find Godzilla's tail. Former Japan official. The earth is in peril from Fukushima reactors if the current situation continues. TEPCO worker. The buildings themselves have started to break down as plant equipment has too. Even the cooling systems are ceasing to function is a possibility. This is from Vice on HBO season 2. Hiroshi Kawuchi, former Japanese house representative. The havoc Fukushima has wrought is now acknowledged by the government. Fukushima Daiichi emitted airborne radioactive cesium levels that exceeded the Hiroshima bomb 
by 168 times. But we're told everything is okay. And we're wondering why radiation levels are 168 times worse than Hiroshima could ever be perceived as okay. Anonymous TEPCO employee. There are many more problems that we have here other than contaminated water. The equipment that we brought three years ago like pipes, hoses, and the buildings themselves. All these have started to break down. Even the cooling system has ceased to function is a real possibility. Gandhi. The future of Japan begins to look even more bleak. Kabuchi. It will become harder to access the truth because of the new state secret acts. The government is trying to silence people and cannot change the dark reality of radiation. They may only rear its head in generations to come. Kabauchi. If we continue not only Japan, but also Earth is in peril. Check out the debrief on Vice HBO. Subscribe to our channel so our latest clips always come directly to you. Also, check out our playlist and be sure to like and share our videos with your friends. So have fun and thank you for spreading the love.